Hey guys, welcome to this episode of Caps Tech. Today we're going to be talking about audio recording and uh, long distance listening devices or the parabolic dish. So first of all, we want to talk a little bit about these. This is the style of um, audio recorder that the Caps team uses on our investigations. So um, it has a nice uh, lanyard chain here. This works good for if you want to hang it on a tree branch or something out in the woods. So you just wrap that around and it hangs pretty nicely. Uh, these are not weatherproof, uh, but uh, the ones that we have left out overnight um, for days at a time, I mean, these things still work. So any kind of moisture and, and humidity and stuff that you get in here, uh, we've had these out in pouring rain and uh, overnight, and they still work. So I highly recommend these little guys. Um, I'm not sure on the model number of it. I'm looking through the, the boxes and stuff here, and it doesn't have one. But um, if you want to see it, this is what it is. It comes uh, on eBay, and it has built-in memory. So let's, let's talk about this for a little bit. So this is the box it comes in. Um, it comes with the lanyard, the recorder, manual. It has earbuds, and uh, so it's kind of a nice little, little thing here, user manual. Uh, you can use this as an MP3 player. It will play audio. Uh, or you can use it as an actual recorder. So there's a little, there's a lot of stuff that this little guy can do. It's very durable, um, very good. Um, you probably can't see this on there, but um, it has a, a map kind of on the back here, and I'll kind of go over it with you. It has a micro SD card slot. Uh, all of ours have 64 gig memory cards in them, so these things will record for a week straight. The problem is is that we have is the battery doesn't last in them yet. So we're, we're working on uh, creating a way to run this off of a 12 volt battery that will uh, keep them charged all the time. So we're working on that. There's a reset button there in case anything happens to it. There's a lock unlock slide switch here on the side so that uh, it won't get bothered like if you're recording and it's in your pocket. Um, it won't turn off or anything. You just slide that up and you, you won't be able to press the buttons on the front. So be careful with that because um, if you do have that locked, you won't be able to record or press the buttons on the front and you'll wonder why it's not working. Well, it's probably because you have it locked. Um, then you have a USB port here. So these things have an internal battery otherwise and they charge off of just a, um, a USB cable and that would be the um, micro USB. Not the USB-C and not the mini USB, or um, I'm sorry, mini, mini USBs. Um, and then you have left and right audio recorders. So this thing actually records in stereo, uh, which is really nice because you actually get two audio files when you look at it. Um, you have a left audio and a right audio. It helps you kind of pinpoint where a sound came from. Uh, and as we come around the other side here, you have a headphone jack. Like I said, it does come with headphones. And the reason, one of the reasons that I picked this specific style for our use is it has a audio recorder um, microphone jack. So we can put an external microphone on this and we can use it to record podcasts or we can use it out in the field to uh, put all this stuff in a waterproof box and then we can uh, leave it outside with just the, the microphone sticking out. Um, and then you have a, a slide bar on this side that goes from music to DVR. And basically, you have internal music that you can store on this. It can be basically, like I said, an MP3 player. Or you can use it to um, record and listen to that. And then you have a delete button on the side and an AB button. And I'm not sure what the AB button does. I don't use it. Uh, you have a volume control here, up and down. You have a menu button and you have a fast forward or a uh, rewind button so that you can go back on your tracks. Your record button is the big button right here in the middle. And then you have play, pause, and stop. So these are really handy little devices. We have uh, quite a few of them now. And like I said, I got these off of eBay. Um, there's a couple different places that sell them. Shop around, get a cheaper one, you know. But 
Uh, they range anywhere right around like $50 a piece, I think. So, but they're definitely durable. I mean, we drop these things, we hang them in trees, uh, we leave them outside in the rain, and these things work great. Uh, the audio quality is amazing. You can, you know, hear somebody talking from probably 20 feet away and still understand, hear them. Uh, and as far as like bird calls, Bigfoot howls, EVPs for ghost hunting and stuff, you can hear that all on here. So what I'd like to do now is I'm going to move on to our other piece here. And this is the basic cheap um, $40 um, parabolic dish that you can get on Amazon, you can get on eBay, everything. Um, I was kind of lenient about buying this, uh, but we came across somebody that had one that let me borrow it. And it is, it is actually a pretty decent uh, listening device. Um, it's not spectacular, but it does, does definitely allow you to hear farther distance away, and it lets you pinpoint in on a specific sound. So when you have a lot of frogs and birds and stuff around you or whatever, when you're outside, you can aim this at what you want to listen to, and it'll, it'll zoom in right on that. And that helps a lot when you're trying to, to pinpoint direction and uh, location stuff of sounds as well. So this thing takes a, um, I have to unscrew it, so I'm not gonna do that right now, but I believe it takes one nine volt battery. Um, it does record on its own and you can do playback, but this device only records for, I wanna say 15 seconds and then it will stop recording. So if you wanna do any kind of long duration audio recording, it's not gonna do that, but I'll show you how we get around that. Um, and on this side, it has a volume knob so that you can turn up your volume and turn it down. And it also has a little eyepiece here that you can look through and kind of look where you're aiming, I guess. I'm not sure really what the thought process is, was on that, but it does. Um, and then the parabolic dish has two little clips here on the side that you can take the dish off for easier storage. Um, so it doesn't have to be as big and bulky as all that. And that just clips right back on like that so um, it comes with a set of headphones right here and then this plugs in and you can listen with them like that obviously you know what headphones are um, but they plug in uh, right here on the side okay so this is great if you just want to be outside and or inside or wherever you are happen to be and you want to listen you can use these for our purposes though, when we're out trying to collect evidence, what good is evidence if you can't record it? And like I said earlier, this thing only records about a 15 second clip. So what we've done is we've gone out and we have purchased a aux cable, a UX cable splitter, and that we plug into the listening device to begin with, the parabolic uh, dish listening device. And then one of these gets hooked up to the headphones so we can hear what we're listening to and then the other one here plugs in like this and then that goes into the audio recorder in the recording jack that we had talked about earlier so now not only can you listen to the sounds in real time you can actually record what you're hearing for later uh research and, and to see to play back and and re-listen to stuff so um when you do listen to this, there's a little like a uh, gun trigger right down here. And in order to listen, if you point at something, you're not going to hear anything. You actually have to pull that little trigger. And um, so that's how that works. Um, but it does actually, it's um, it's worth the money, the $40 that you put into it. Uh, we looked into several other higher quality ones. And um, for the money, it just wasn't going to do, we weren't going to use it enough that we thought it was worth the investment. So, uh, like I said, one of our, our friends had one of these and we got to play with it for a night. And after that, I was pretty much sold on it. I mean, for $40, uh, you can get these all day on eBay, pretty cheap. They come a little bit different styles. Uh, some of them are silver, this one's black, um, but they're all pretty much the same device. They all have the same buttons, the same everything. So they're definitely worth the money if you just wanna go out and play with it, you know, and, and use it occasionally. Um, and then, like I said, eBay, you can get the audio recorders, and um, this is by far the best audio recorder that I've researched and looked into. And the internal memory on this, too, I forgot to mention, I want to say is 32 gigs on its own. 
So it does have quite a substantial internal memory before you even add the external memory card. So between the two of these, we have a lot of audio and uh, this thing does record audio and the battery life is pretty decent. Uh, it definitely lasts um, at least 24 hours. Um, the second day it gets a little iffy. Uh, we've had them run out uh, midway through the second day when we go back to check them. And um, we primarily have set these up up at the Hayden Adventure when we're doing the overnight investigations and stuff. So we'll put these in different locations around the property and then go back and check them throughout the, the weekend and make sure that they're still recording. Uh, you can put a battery backup on one of these and they, they will charge and, and stay running. Unfortunately, the battery backups that we have turn off uh, from non-use. So once the battery is full, it turns off and then the battery just drains down again. So, and it won't turn back on because the battery backup won't turn back on its own. So um, we are looking into a way to, to fix that. So this is just some of the stuff that we use. Um, I'm sure there's more other audio recorders out there and uh, there's better parabolic dishes out there as well. Um, so, you know, if you guys have any questions, comments, if you have any uh, suggestions for anything that we use or how we use it, uh, feel free to leave it in the comments and uh, we'll do our best to help you out with that and um, answer any of your questions or take any of your suggestions that you have as to ways to improve our equipment, setups, etc. So thanks guys, we'll see you next time.